The day is finally here. You open up the year-end results email from the finance department, but you notice one glaring problem. They supplied you with a running total. Don't fret though. This job is no match for you in Power Query. Welcome to how to reverse a running total using Power Query in Excel or Power BI. In this example, we're gonna use Microsoft Excel. If you're using Power BI, the steps are the exact same. First things first though, I wanted to add a table object. So I'm gonna hold Control, press T, my favorite shortcut, hit OK. Up in the table tools design, I'm just gonna call this total YTD. Fantastic. Jump over to our data tab. We're gonna select from table to load this into our query editor. And we now see so we have month and total sales listed. Let's go to the add column tab and we're gonna select index column. We're going to choose the downward arrow here and select from zero. And we're going to do that once again. We're going to select from one. Awesome. Jump over to the home tab, select merge queries. And we're going to merge this query upon itself. So we're going to select total YTD current. In our top, we're going to select index with the zero and then index dot one as our matching column. Select has matched 11 out of the first 12 rows and that is with the left outer join. Hit OK, and now we're going to expand this column. Go ahead and click on that Expand button. Deselect all the columns, turn off user original column name as prefix, and then we're only going to select Total Sales. Excellent. We now see our January has been moved to the bottom just with this null result. We can just fix this for the aesthetics by selecting Month, Sort Ascending, and now we see that our rolling total is your 9,898.86 to 10,902.49, etc. We have this new column. If you see, all of our results are offset by a row. What we'd like to do now is replace our null value. So this is our unknown. And we want to replace null with zero. Hit OK. Fantastic. Select the very first total sales. Hold control. Select total sales dot one. Go to the Add Column tab here at the top. We're going to select Standard, and we're going to do Subtract. Excellent. You have now taken the difference of the rolling totals to return each month's results. Select Month, select Subtraction, right-click, remove other columns. Bam, that data is now cleaned up. Fantastic work. When working through our problem, the first thing we did was add two index columns. We added from zero and from one. If you notice this column index, we have the numbers zero through 11. In index dot one, we have one through 12. The only numbers that will match is that of one through 11 in the index column and one through 11 in the index dot one. This way, when we go to the home and then our merge, our left table, which is gonna be this index column. And then our right table, which is the total year to date current. So it is a, our current query. We're going to merge it against itself. So index from zero, index from one. The selection is matched to 11 out of the first 12 rows. That is because we had said the join kind is a left outer that the numbers must match. Now, if we go ahead and do okay, and we can then expand, use total sales. We then replaced our null with a zero. Anytime you use a number against a null, the return value is gonna be that of a null. So if I selected total sales and total sales dot one, add column, standard, subtract, we get a null value. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that here in our applied steps. And I'm gonna change this to null to be a zero. If you notice I did not sort the month, it does not matter. You can still take the values here. So total sales, total sales dot one, standard, subtract, and there we go. I wish they were all that easy. Unfortunately, we live in the real world with real data. In this example, we have employees. We have Billy, Bobby, Elise, and Ivan, the names of our current cats. First things first, we're going to load this into a new table. So let's do from table. We're going to remove other columns. So we're going to select employee, remove other columns. We're now going to right click again and select remove duplicates. 
go to the add column index column we can just do from zero and we're going to going to call this unique employees excellent let's go ahead and load this just to a connection create connection only we're going to go ahead and hit load we're going to load this table once again from table and the data tab and here we go first things first let's do a merge query and we are going to select the unique employees our left table is going to be that of the employees in our right table here is going to be the index 0 1 2 and 3 let's go ahead and hit okay we've got 48 out of 48 so that looks fantastic we're going to expand this column now and select index there we go so each index is now attributed to the name. So Billy is zero, Bobby is one, Elise is two. We're going to go back and add from zero in the add column, and then from one. Now we're going to do a self merge. We're going to select merge queries, and we're going to select total sales current. In this example, we're going to select index to index. Uh, there's Billy or Bobby and now we're going to select index one we're gonna hold control so now we see one and we see two and now we're gonna select index dot two the selections match 44 out of the first 48 rows with our left outer if we remember in the previous example we had the very first month our January's would be returned as null we're going to expand now and we're going to get total sales and now if we sort if we select index sort ascending and then month sort ascending, we see our running total. We're now going to replace total sales dot one, replace values of null with zero, hit enter. And now we're going to take total sales and hold control and select total sales dot one. Go to our add column here at the top, select standard and then subtract. Fantastic. Now if we select month, employee, and subtraction with holding control, we can right click and do remove other columns. And we now have a correct return result for each of our employees.